You have your Retron 77 Atari emulator, and it plays a lot of your Atari cartridges, but it doesn't work on all of them. So I'm gonna show you how to put all of the Atari 2600 games onto your Retron 77. So the cartridge dump here works fairly good, but there's still a lot of cartridges it won't recognize. There's a compatibility list that somebody started on Google Docs. I'll put that in the notes below so you can start to see which ones will work and which ones will not. But there is something we can do in replace of these cartridges and make it a lot easier to access them all. And that's by putting ROMs onto the SD card that comes with the Retron. ROMs are the code of the game. Basically, somebody took the cartridge, dumped it into code, they're in uh, bin files, B-I-N files, and you can take those files, put them on the SD card in the games folder, and the Retron 77 will recognize that as a game, and you can play it without using a cartridge. Pretty cool. And we're gonna put all the Atari 2600 games on it. The first thing you wanna do is take out the SD card. Now listen, this is super important. If you have not, upgraded to the latest version of Stella, you need to do that. If you need to know how to do that, click this link here, and that will show you how to upgrade Stella for your Retron 77. Stella is the emulator platform that is installed on this SD card that runs the games. Once you install the latest version of Stella, go ahead and plug your SD card into your PC. You will need a Windows unit on this. Next, we are gonna want to go to atarimania.com. This is a very cool website that has the entire archive of Atari 2600 games available for download in one zip file. Once you go to atarimania.com, go ahead and select 2600, and then select the ROMs collection tab. Once you scroll down, you'll see the download right there. Go ahead and download that file. You will need something to uncompress RAR files. I'm using WinRAR. Okay, so you can see we downloaded that. The next thing we wanna do is go ahead and decompress it. So I'm going to extract it to my desktop. Okay, then that uncompresses two individual zip files. One that says HC ROMs and one that says ROMs. I'm going to unzip the HC ROMs because that separates the files into separate directories. If you try to put all of the ROMs in one directory, there's too many files for the file system. Sometimes it freaks out. So I'm gonna unzip the HC ROMs file that I put right there on the desktop. And I'm also gonna extract that to my desktop. Once that's done unpacking, let's go ahead and look at the folder. HC ROMs. You can see that there's several different versions. There's the PAL version, which was the European versions, and the NTSC versions, which was the American TV format. The only folder we need here is the by alphabet folder. So go ahead and double click on that folder and you'll see you'll see three subfolders that house the games in alphabetical order. So I'm gonna go ahead and highlight each one. And I am going to copy these files. And I'm just gonna hit Control C, which will copy them. And next we wanna to go to our SD card that we took out of the Stella system. If there is not a games folder in the root, go ahead and create a new folder. You can right click, point to new, click on folder, and call that games. Double click on the games folder, and we're gonna go ahead and paste those three subfolders with the ROMs into this games folder. So I'm just gonna do control V, which will paste, and it will start to copy them over. Okay, all of the files have been copied to the SD card games folder. Now all you have to do is remove the SD card and put it in the Retron 77.
Once you put the SD card back into the system, plug it in, turn it on without a cartridge, you'll then see this navigation menu. Here you'll see the three folders that we copied to the games folder. So go ahead and think of the game you want to play and select the folder that would be in. So we're going to select Pitfall 2. So that would be in the H through R folder. And you can see it has previews of most of the games here, which is pretty cool. Uh, let's scroll down to the P's. Now this is pretty cool because I tried to play my Pitfall 2 cartridge on my Retron uh, in a different video. If you want to see the Pitfall 2 video, click the link at the top here. Uh, however, when I plugged it into my Retron, it did not work. The Pitfall 2 cartridge has a special chip that was put into later games to ex expand the capabilities of the 2600 resources. It didn't work in the Retron 77, so I had to record it in an analog feed. Uh, but now that I've done this, I can go ahead and select the ROM file for Pitfall 2. We'll click on that and we'll start the game. To exit the game, we're gonna hit the aspect ratio button on the back. Um, here you can also change a few things. Obviously you can change the format. Um, one thing to note, it looks like this Stella is pretty smart on this one. The original Stella that came with the Retron 77 always put it in a widescreen format, but we don't want that for Atari 2600 games. We want the standard TV 4x3 format. There's a few settings that you can play around with. Um, you can turn down the scan line intensity if you don't like that. Or turn them off entirely. I'll show you what that looks like now. We click OK. We'll close this menu. And now you can see no scan lines. You just get a full image here. Let's go back to the menu, edit the game, exit the game. Uh, and then you can continue to browse. Select any game that you want and play Atari 2600 games until your life is content. Okay, folks, thanks for watching this. If you found this helpful, please subscribe and hit that bell. If you subscribe, the you won't get notified like you would if you hit the bell. So please do that as well. We'll be putting out more videos, and we'll see you soon. Thanks a lot.